What's up, everybody? It is another episode of Four Women by Women. I'm Jazzy McBee. I'm Ebony. I'm Raven. And I'm Shay. I'm the DJ. <laughs> okay, I'm Shay the DJ. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we are back. We got a lot to talk about, man. We have a lot from the Birkin bag discussion. Um, we definitely got to talk about Lil Wayne meeting with Donald Trump again. We got to talk about 50 Cent and his stance on the Trump. I mean, this whole thing. And then it's like a full moon. Mm. Like, so everybody's energy. And then they said it's, it's, yeah, and then it said it's like Mercury retrograde that's happening right now. Does anybody know about that? Yes. And I'm, yeah, it's like everything is in reverse. Uh, we're Groundhog Day. You're doing the same thing in the same cycle. You feel in the same way. It's like nothing ever ends. So yeah. I'm definitely. You know what? That's crazy. Cause I had just said that to my mom when I was talking to my mom on the phone. I was like, it seems like I wake up in the morning and I do all of this stuff, go to sleep. Then I wake up in the morning to the same, like the same exact stuff. It's like a routine now. And it, it, it was never a routine before, but everything is just like. Back to back to back, I wake up, then I do the same stuff. And I, I'm going crazy about that. I don't like feeling like routine type stuff. So yeah. it's weird. That's, that's, that's what that is. Yes. I, think, I think so. They said that you're supposed to be like, it's like an emotional state, depending on your sign. So mm -hmm. they said, don't make any rest decisions during the Mercury retrograde or don't like, don't make any like quick judgments or it just... They're saying it's like be still mm. doing the merch. Am, am I? Am I? Because I'm, I'm just now learning I about this. Hear, right? I didn't no, hear. that's yeah, that's it. Wow. That's it. That's it. It's, it like, is? it's like if you make a business plan now, it won't go through the way you expected it to, or it might even backfire. So they just really don't. They don't want you to really do anything. Then they say don't make big purchases. They said all mm -hmm. types of stuff like that, right? During this right. time. Mm. And how long is it supposed That's to last for? It's time to it's last for like over. weeks. Right, yeah, oh. they said it's almost over, I think. Okay. Oh, I, don't I don't know. know, I just feel like the whole 2020 has been mer Mercury retrograde to me. Because <laughs> it, feel like is, it, it feels like it. Because everything is just like, wah, wah. I, I'm scared to just do anything, really. I mean, I'm not really scared. But it's just like, it's so much happening. Like, you want to get out and you still want to do things. Because Atlanta is wide open. And, open. you know, the clubs and, you know, restaurants are still open. But to me, I just feel like, I don't, bruh, I, I'll just wait the next year to do something. You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah. I'll just wait till to, to next Miami. year. You don't want to And do you know, it. Miami is open too, but they got to close at 12 o'clock. They do. Really? Yeah, yeah, they, they do. close at 12. So it's like, really? Like, people go to Miami to get that 5 o'clock in the morning effect, come out when the sun is up effect. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like. And now, it's, 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 I think 2020, well, 2020 is the year of vision. You know, everything you you didn't think you saw, you actually see it now as far as like with politics, uh, crime, racism. I think everything is just coming to the forefront now. And I think anything that was done in the dark is definitely coming to the light in 2020. Now, listen, let me tell you something. Okay. Everything. When I tell you everything is coming, like even with like the celebrities and 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 just just everything is. I mean, it's crazy. Like every time you hop on in Instagram or your social media, you found out about or you're finding out about something or somebody or something has happened to something. Like right. this is it's crazy. I'm just trying to lay low, stay out of the way, mm -hmm. make some moves, right. and just went into twenty Lord's will. Speaking of moves. Uh oh, Jackie. Yeah, she did you move finally? You like to talk about some new moves that you've been making lately that you've been keeping on the low, like you said. Would you like to oh. share with the world about, you know? <laughs> yeah. Uh, what, so, what you I, I, about? What's the tea? Well, I'm on this show. It's on the own TV network. Shout out to Oprah and Will Packer. So it's a show called um, Put a Ring on It. And so, yeah, so these couples, oh, they, they go out and test their relationships by dating other people. So I'm one of those people that this person dates. So I, that's all I can say about it. So you'll see me a couple of times this season on um, Put a Ring on it every Friday on, uh, I think it's going at 10 o'clock? 10 o'clock. Yeah, 10. So, I mean, I wasn't keeping it a secret. You know, you just got to tell us about it. Now you sure didn't. 
You yeah, have to uh, wait right. until that move is oh, yeah. made until you announce yeah. it, and then that's how right, right, right. that's how everything happens with me. I don't know about anybody else, but yeah. That's, so that's, that's, I'm excited. That's, it was really fun. We, you know, we were filming, and what I hated about it was we had to get COVID tests like every two days. Like you had to get your fingerprint, and it pricked. It was it, it was horrible. I was like, no, nah, you got the rapid test. Yeah, the rap. Well, we we had the initial COVID test, mm -hmm. and then we did the rapid test every two or three days, like while we were, we were on set. So it was very safe, um, and it was fun. So I'm I'm excited to see it, how they edit up and all that other good stuff. So I'm excited about that one. So that's once the more, only thing about reality TV that is nerve that's nervous. Well, to me, because you don't know how they're gonna edit you and portray you once you get done filming. You know, you yeah. they can have you looking like the dingiest dingbat, or you know, you just you just never know. Never know. You never know. That's the yeah, crazy. They got me good. And that's yeah, but, I, but I love the fact. I love the fact that. Like somebody told me that I I was included in like the promos like it as the show was leading up to the premiere like I was included in the promo so I had a little bit. Well, you're like, really like, somebody though, Jazzy. It's like you're not like somebody that went to a casting to get on a reality show. You're already in what people want to be in, so they have to. You don't portray yourself out here as some whatever whatever you about your business you get your money and you do a great job and you're a professional so they have to keep that going they yeah. would be a fool to make that shit different i'm telling you they would they would have got calls from us writing letters <laughs> this is like jazzy this is like jazzy you know the fuck is wrong too where the car at where the car at where the bag you put the shoe online Put the shoe online. Dude, but I came with you. So I appreciate that. I appreciate yeah. that. Um, Girl, you know you got work. Did, did, you. Is you going to get a ring out of this or what? What the fuck? Y'all okay. have to hey, see what's going on. Right. Just, text what's going on. <laughs> Just text me the scoop, girl. I'll sign, your, I'll sign your own personal NDA, girl. Oh, Lord, Hammer. You won't get me in trouble because I know they're going to go back and look at girl, all. Well, well who is, are out. you still in contact with the guy you was dating? Oh, you can't talk about that. that. You have to watch. Oh, oh my gosh. We know all the right questions, but can't get the answers. No. Right. Exactly. But well, that's the show premiere. Uh, it premiered last Friday, the first the first episode. Yeah. So Are then the first episode. Be, so, it, huh? Were you on the first episode? I was not on the first episode. Okay. So the person that I date comes in. Okay. At the, I don't know which episode, but yeah. you know what's so, so you know what's so crazy about them COVID tests. I you know I just got finished wrapping a movie mm -hmm. called Super Turn. It's with Jamal Gravy Woodard, Tori Hart, Yay. and a few other you know actors, I guess. And we had to take our Corona test every two days. Yeah. Now Ugh. I and I. To be honest, I enjoyed my Corona test. I, I never did cocaine. I never did cocaine. Let me COVID, put that out there. COVID, but, COVID, COVID, COVID. Oh, yeah, Why COVID. are you saying Corona? Oh, COVID. Okay. I took the COVID <laughs> test, corona, but I enjoyed taking my COVID test. I enjoyed taking my COVID test. Going up the nose, it just it just opened up my sinus. I just loved it. I was able to blow my nose better. I absolutely <laughs> love it. I don't mind doing it every two days. Really? I love you that. Got, you probably the only one. You know, like, it's like a Q-tip going in your ear, but it's going up your nose. And you know how good it feels to clean your ears? That test on that's it that. was so good. It, they, he was just twirling hey. in there. I was falling asleep. Hey, on some of that. No, I, that's why I said I, I never did cocaine. I never did it. But, you know, like, you know how um, when you have sinuses and stuff, and you gotta do the uh the stuff up your nose to clear yeah. out your sinus. Mm -hmm. I enjoy that. Really? Wow. Yeah, that's weird, Shay. That's weird. But <laughs> hey, I can't judge her she like that. Don't go. <laughs> no, it is weird. But I said we still love you the same. That's why we love you because it's it weird. Is weird. Like I hate it that stuff. Weird. Like, but it's my like my sinuses get so bad. My sinuses get so bad when my doctor he prescribes the the nozzle spray. I I can't get God, it's so good. It's like opening up a blockage. It's so it feels so good. I hate that. It's like passing gas after you mm -hmm. eat some beans. 
I hate it, that. It's a, like a release. Even a, little, even a little nasal little thing that drains. What is that called? Like I love it. Or whatever. Yeah. I hate that type of stuff. It just. I love it. It's tickle. It tickles me. <laughs> <laughs> Me. Now, what's so funny to me nowadays is they're doing the discussion about the Birkin bag. So the thing now is the celebrities, um, their dude buys them this Birkin bag. You know, Nicki Minaj is on Sada Baby's remix talking about, you know, now like you have to prove that you don't have a hand-me-down Birkin bag. So now these celebrities are going on social media and saying, oh, I got this Birkin bag. It's brand new. This brand new. Birkin bags, we know, is what, like 15 stacks starting out? 15,000 starting out? Yeah. Huh? They can go up, yes. And they can go up to $100,000 or, oh, they can get expensive. Can you yeah. live in it? Can you eat it? No. What? No, that was $100,000. What are you going to do with a $100,000 bag for? Wait, what do you do? I don't know. The, the whole thing is just showing it. Because so what do y'all think about the Birkin bag uh, contest? I something? would be... Don't buy me no Birkin. They can forget it about the Birkin bag situation because you know why? Because when they came out with the Manolo Blahnik Tims and then um, um, Jay-Z said they Steve Madden, Steve Madden <laughs> sells rocketed, okay? So they could forget it about that for one. And they came out with different colors too because I... I was trying to get me some. I was trying to get the Manolos, okay? I was, I was trying to get that, but I couldn't get with it. And I was like, nah, I'm not getting no Steve, man. I, I can't just, I can't two step in my mat. But honey, let me tell you, half of them celebrities, and I don't, I'm not going to call out no names, but a lot of them go to the flea market to buy their stuff because a lot of their stuff don't even be real. Ooh. Okay. Hey, you know what? what do you mean? No, no, no. Yes. That is, that's look. real. The jewelry and everything be fake, and you would never even because the person is so famous and so rich. Mm. Everybody looking at them like their stuff is real. That stuff don't be real. Oh, this, none of that stuff is online. None of that stuff is online or off season or none of that stuff. You Google that stuff. You try to get an outfit of a celebrity. Oh, this is one of a kind. Of course, it's one of a kind because it's not real. No, bitch. Yeah, what? girl. Mm -hmm. and so why they making the these people go crazy <clears throat> yeah they making these people go crazy and buy these burger bags these girls burger bags don't even be real so Nicki Minaj was right because it, it takes a lot to buy a Birkin bag and if you ain't got no um properties or no damn savings and, and 401ks or retirement plans I don't think you need to be purchasing nothing then, you know all that hype they need to shut up yeah a lot of people are saying look at it as an investment and stuff like that no invest that money into something that I can see and it I want it to grow. Give right. you can get me property. Mm -hmm. Shoot, you can pay off something. Like, come on, don't get me. I'm sorry. I if my man could buy me a Birkin, don't buy me a Birkin. I don't want one. And I then I think it gets it, I'm sorry. It okay. gets to the point. It gets to the point where all right, I get it. I like the Cardi B's. I love I just I love them. But sometimes it gets to the point where it's like, oh, I got it and you don't. You yeah. understand what I'm saying? And that's not cool. I think right. a lot of things you can post like your successes and stuff like that. But when it comes to materials and like, ah, 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 it's just like a little overwhelming because people are so hungry out here. People are so less fortunate out here. And they really lose their mind and try to rob and steal from people in order to get these accomplishments that these people are showing. So I think that sometimes it's cool to show what your achievements, but all that sometimes like receipts and stuff, that's tacky to me. And then, right. you know, now that we're in a pandemic, I'm sorry, but we're in a pandemic and y'all doing all this stuff. People lost jobs, people struggling, trying to pay their bills and y'all on here boasting and bragging about Birkin bags to really your fans are the reason that you got these Birkins and your fans is the ones out here struggling and stuff and y'all boasting these like I don't know I just don't I don't agree with it I right. don't I say buy black can we buy black I just, and, 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 and <laughs> let me tell you the Birkin bags to be honest are not honestly that cute, cute. no they're they not. got a name and, and a price that everybody wants. That's, I'm like, even these, not to bring that up, but Yeezys and stuff that they going crazy over. And girl, like, it's just, it's just the, the name. Same stuff was in Walmart. These people wouldn't get that stuff. 
Yeah, exactly. So I, I do like a, a very good thing that um, Kayla Nicole, y'all know Kayla Nicole, the move like a snake. Right. She's real mm -hmm. popular on Instagram. So she wrote this about the Birkin um, discussion. She said, the last thing that the world needs right now is a bunch of entitled, loud and spoiled adults having rich people problems with Birkin debates. What are y'all in a hurry to prove to people you have more than already? It's insensitive and idiotic how they brought everybody to the table, but reality don't. She also goes on to say, she said, too loud for the wrong reason. Now is not the time to stunt. Y'all flexing obvious wealth and opportunities a lot of people don't get to be a part of, but made you able to. So boastful, but useless. She said, um, it's giving, I'm um, disconnected in all honesty and voted for Trump for tax reasons type of vibe. So I, I love that. And you know, Kayla Nicole, she's young. She's in the she's in the millennial generation. So for her to speak about that, um, I, I really think that it is very relevant. And you to each his own, like if you can afford a Birkin bag or buy your girl a Birkin bag, but you know, don't buy me no Birkin bag, because if you buy me a Birkin bag, I'm gonna sell it. You know what I'm saying? That's why that's all <laughs> I'm going to insist that you call me ungrateful, whatever it is. But if you buy me a Birkin bag, I'm gonna trade it in for some property or I'm going to invest in my business. That's just me. But you know, other people don't think forward. And yeah, we definitely gotta get it get away from the materialistic things because you walking around like a lick, you know, and if y'all don't know what a lick is. People ain't got no money, and they see you drop, walking down the street with a Birkin bag. And they come. Like it's so funny that you said that because I just recently watched the um, Kim Kardashian interview with David Letterman, which is really yeah. good. She got real personal, and that's really uh, I like it when Kim really shows herself. And she was like, she, the robbery. They followed her for two years. Hmm. That's they saw scary. every little thing, her uh, rings she posts, any jewelry, everything. They plotted That's on her for two oh, people, years. People so when she came up. to Paris, they was like, we're going to get all the jewelry. Mm. So you just got to be mindful of those situations. Like, every, like situations is cool. Like people just, it's, it's, it's good to have, you know, made it from nothing to something. But also just be mindful of your surroundings mm. because people are plotting. Oh, and dudes okay. have to be careful too because it's like you know you if you have a girlfriend or a you know a significant other wife or whatever and you're posting money on your insta story or your page and they know you're connected to this woman or whatever mm -hmm. they can go and follow her page you know what i'm saying and and, get, and try to rob her so that's why i tell people like listen even you know my little nephews don't post no money on your instagram or your Instagram because people like, are watching the rolexes and, and mm -hmm. all that. what's the point like i i would rather you see me out with my stuff on like i'm not gonna post if i get a new something and i'm oh look at my gift like i don't even do right. i used to do that a long time ago but i stopped doing that because right. that's what people are doing they sit back and they plot and they know that you got all this stuff and nine times out of ten you're gonna you go out you're gonna have your watch on you're gonna have your jewelry on and they know that and it's it's just stupid like i'd rather you see me out with it than to know oh she just got this new watch or she just got yeah. this new, such and such new necklace or something like I'm not gonna brag about it. You whether I rather you see me with it and then something like that. Now I'm not gonna tell you beforehand. Like oh I just got this, so be on the lookout. Like no, that's her target. <laughs> not be on the lookout. <laughs> yeah, and, it's, and it's things are just not the same. You can't even go to functions anymore to really sh show off your outfit or just right. You no, know, it ain't. It, things aren't functional anymore. It's just time for people to wisen up and smarten up and just get on their gangster moves in silence vibes <laughs> like. I blame social media because it's like yeah. everybody gets on social media and post their new cars. And like you said, they post their jewelry, they post their bags. So the people that don't got it on the outside looking like, dang, I want that. I want to live like them too. So if I can't get it on my own, I just got to rob the people that got it. Like it's well, social media. You're, you trying to, you're trying to technically keep up with the Joneses. You know, that's what everybody now is trying to do. And they looking at all these other people when these people honestly that's posting this stuff, some of these people don't even really be living like how they saying they living. Or and that's what I heard. Girl, or a bed to sleep on, a food to put in their mouth. See, that's the crazy part. Girl. That's the crazy part. Cause I'm like, like, you know, I talk to a lot of guys and they say, oh, well, shoot, she got like 3 million followers and she ain't got and no product in her house. She ain't got no she money. Mm-hmm. So what you see isn't what, every, what they post to be. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, I feel like, you know, 
with the younger generation looking at us or you know women who's making boss moves you know you can encourage someone without it being bragging and i always say um when you talk about your success around different people sometimes it feels like bragging but you know you you just have to do it in a way where you're not boastful about it you know what right. i'm saying right. if you have it teach somebody else how to get it you know what right. i'm saying right Teach, teach my, you yeah. teach your friend how to get it. Your friend teach you how to get it. You understand what I'm saying? Right. Or do have a course. Make some money teaching people how to do it. Tell them so, so but much. you know what? A lot of these people, a lot of these people teaching people how to do stuff, paying, mm -hmm. charging them. Mm -hmm. Making money. I'm and talking about money, money. But they shouldn't be. They charging them and leading them to, them de to a dead end. Yeah. Hello. Said, no, not all of them. Not no, all of them. No, do that. no, I that's the messing up for the people who really are working. No, hard. Raven, Raven. I said some, not all. No, some people actually, all no, there are some. People actually yeah. know how to give advice and know how to give tips and 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 do it the right way. But right. some people are using this so-called success that they have and charging people, and they honestly don't know nothing. Right. To give advice and charge other people. Like they just had a, a boyfriend with a lot of money and they let me not girl. <laughs> but see that but see that's where the consumer has to do their research. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I hear so many bad stories yeah. about oh I spent three thousand dollars to get in this class and she didn't teach me anything. Mm -hmm. Well, did you do the research on this person yep. or did you just follow this person and say I want to get close to this influencer? and you leave with absolutely nothing the the mm -hmm. point is to have the class is to plant a seed in that person and you oh. take away some knowledge from right. that class now right. if you go to a class you sp spend three thousand dollars i mean i don't know why you would spend that much money on just a spend a night party yeah. then then who's to blame that influencer or you because right. it's your money is your choice to spend with that person and if you say oh i blame them i blame you can't really blame it because you know, right. one, did you do your research? Two, right. is it just a pop popularity contest where you just want to sit in their presence and want to take right. pictures? And I've heard so many horror stories where these influencers or people who are holding classes, they don't even damn near talk to y'all. You know what I'm saying? Even after the event is over with. So what did you really take from it? Right, exactly. If I'm going to pay you for some advice, I'm sorry. I, some, Like I said, some people can give you some good gems and good advice and things that you don't know to start a business or run a business or run right. certain things because they've done it successfully. But if I'm going to pay you, I feel like now you're my business buddy. And I want to <laughs> be able, if I have any more questions, I would like to be able to follow up with you. Please. And, please. and help me some more. I'm sorry. Like, but you know what? But you know what? You don't have to. It's all in a book. This is what I'm on now. I like, I love this book. But it's all in a book. And sometimes we don't take the time. We don't want to read through courses. Barnes and Nobles is wide open. Books a million, wide open. But you know, I understand you don't want to. You don't want to take the time and read it. But there's so many resources on the internet, Google, um, that you can, you can YouTube that you can learn. Just all you got to do is sit and study. Just like these credit repair um, people or the credit repair classes. All this stuff is free information on Google, YouTube, and a book on how to fix your credit. I'm telling but you. You know what it is? A lot of people are lazy and they don't want to do the work. They just rather pay someone who knows how to do it and let them do all let them do all the work and they just sit back and do yeah. nothing. That's what people that's the generation we're in now. And like, I get it. Lazy. And I and, and I get it. I get it. Mm -hmm. I get it and I understand because I was one of those people who, right. who did that i remember um uh the girl dana chanel right oh yeah everybody know about her now so yeah. it was a while back like a couple of years ago somebody referred me to her sister who had a credit repair business so i was like you know i want to get my credit straight you know i want to do a couple of things but it was it was it was it was all bad it was bad you know the girl didn't she didn't really fix the credit you know she was going slow so that i could pay her every month so you know i i raised hell to get my money back but i just told myself like i wouldn't go through that again because number one like i'm telling everybody else do your research i didn't necessarily do my research i was going by hearsay and word of mouth so those are some of the lessons that i've learned and when you're paying somebody to do a job. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 
Yeah. Now, if you do your research and you can't find out the information, then by all means, go to that person because they know they're an expert in whatever they're teaching or whatever. Do it. Like, I, I personally was the one, I did the research on my credit stuff and I started sending my own dispute letters, but it is a lot of letters. I mean, a lot of stuff you have to do, a lot of stuff you have to know. So some people, you just cut the middleman out and you let them do it for you, which is some people, Fine. that's the best way to go. But if you have time to do it yourself, you can do it yourself. And But there's nothing wrong with paying somebody else right. to do it too. They, right. they might get it done faster there's than you. But yeah, just do the research. I yeah. I like just do your research first. Right, right, right. <laughs> yeah, just, I, I like to say, just do your research first before you pay, before you give anybody your hard-earned money because I don't care how easy it comes to you. It's, it's still your money, a couple of hundred thousand dollars or, you know, whatever you're paying. You right. just don't want to just blow that down the drain. Right, right. So, next topic we got, Shay. We'll be talking about. <laughs> Lil Wayne and him meeting with Trump. Girl, ooh, child. Okay, so here's the thing. This is what I'm knowing. You know, I think all these rappers are like that after they get to a certain point. You know what I'm saying? I feel like a lot of rappers be like, I don't, I don't mess with these niggas. You know what I'm saying? I feel like, you know, it's just odd, man, because, you know, first, I didn't really get the gist on, I heard that Ice Cube did it too. And then after that opened up, that's when you had 50 Cent talking about this all this and then Lil Wayne talking about yes the platinum plan is gonna work and, da, 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 da. and it's like I don't care how much money they paying y'all to do this stuff or whatever some things you can afford to say no to you know what I'm saying it's like why are you talking to this man you know this man is clearly a racist you know this man clearly is has ill intentions and this man is really not gonna take your side at the end of the day so it's like why even bother with somebody that you know is not good i yeah i understand that i feel like um <laughs> you know how <laughs> you know how black folk be running off on a plug so it's pretty much like i'm gonna meet with trump i'm gonna get my money and and i'm still not voting for you negro you know what i'm saying hopefully right. that's what's going on if they are meeting with them you know even if because, even if they even if they vote they might not yeah. vote yeah, and they may not vote. And that's, that's what I'm saying. It's just, it's just tricky because you never freaking know. But what's disappointing is y'all in the Black community, and y'all know what this man stands for, but y'all still having these bad conversations. And I, I just I don't understand. Like, yeah, I, I don't know if it's because they feel like the devil versus the witch and the poor, like, drink your poison or pick your poison, or I don't know if it's because they... Joe Biden has a woman backing him. You know what I'm saying? You can, yeah. you can, you can, you can, you can get people's true colors when a woman is is running for something. Like if a woman was running for president, like Hillary Clinton, the, people weren't going. They men were not going to let that happen. I I, right. I would have loved to see it, but I don't think she was strong enough anyway. But I feel like uh, they don't want to see a woman in power. I'm really waiting to hear T.I.'s um, opinion on this because it seems like every time something happens with the, with the culture, he is the first one stepping up to the plate, speaking about it or doing something or hands-on as it, 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 it looks more hands-on than anybody else. I mean, he did the thing at Houston's. He did, you know, yeah. the thing with Gucci. And, uh, you know, I just think he steps up to the plate, even if, Whatever he does after that, I just think he steps up to the plate as far as when it comes to that stuff. This election, y'all, this, this, this election to me is just... It's, it's something just, up. It's just something. I feel like they're going to be the really disappointed. I feel like if he gets their vote, I feel like they're going to be super disappointed with what the outcome is. But this is what I talk about Biden. Joe Biden. Oh, my bad. Go ahead. We oh, go ahead, Raven. Go ahead. Go ahead. So, but let's talk about if Joe Biden wins. There's See, that's what I was gonna say. Out there that might go a little rally crazy. They already I going crazy. So too, but, but we ain't it. never scared though. That's the whole thing. Like, this is not this is not uh, seventeen forty two. You know what I'm saying? This is this is twenty twenty. <laughs> where these people are bold now, Jazzy. They doing some crazy stuff. I get it, but right? black people are bold. Balls. <laughs> but black people, we're bold as well. So it's yeah. like you, we just have to be ready for what it is 
that they want to bring. You know, unfortunately, hopefully we don't get to that point, but like all, the Black Panther Party or was it, I, f I forgot the name of, of the uh, the Black co Coalition that showed up at Stone Mountain. Mm -hmm. Did y'all see that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I feel like we need to be ready like that because I know these people are going to lose their freaking mind if right. Trump does not win. But people saying, oh, well, we need to stick with Trump because we know what he cap he's That's capable of. That's what I was of. about to say. But, That's exactly what but I But my thing is, yeah, you see what he's capable of and it's not getting any better. So let's just try something different. No? Right. And they, they don't say do you want to go with Trump who you know was what's going to happen you know he's an open racist like he's an open book like you know everything with trump or did they they said do you want to go with the closet racist Ooh, they did not call but, him the closet but racist. he has but he has kamala backing her though which i feel like she is she is a very dominant personality i even feel like she's going to try to take over the administration mm -hmm. she's going to probably try to overrule him because she's right. just that dominant you know so I, <sighs> I don't I know. Think I, I think, think everybody's oh. racist. I think everybody's racist, to be honest. Yeah. I just don't know. You can't be racist, technically. You know, black people can't be racist. Yes, that's they can. That's my definition. Oh, can't. Let me tell you, the definition of racism, there's no way black people can see, be racist. Tell me what it is, because I've never. Yeah, tell me what it is, because I see some black people that be on some ish. So and we racist, race, we racist or, towards our own color. Mm -hmm. Race discrimination directed against a person or people on the bias of their membership in a particular racial or ethnic group, partic particularly minority. So there's there's no way for white white racism. That word is meant for white people. Racism against black people. There's no way that black people can be racist against white people. Well, we can be racist against our own color, though. Our own, our own color, yes, yeah. but not racist against white people. Really? Does that make sense? It kind of does. Nah. I'm just said some black people. It's some black people that that I am shocked sometimes of how they treat white people. I've seen I've seen black racist. Yeah, people. but white people aren't the minorities, so there's no way for that to be racist because you have to be a minority in order. So it's to something. It's just playing out. Hate. Hey. Yeah, you know, but against minorities. That's right. why. I so I'm saying like with black people not liking white people. That's just playing out some type of hate yeah it's just, just a hate you know but they but but by definition they can't be racist wow who made that definition a <laughs> white person probably did it's on google right yeah I, Webster. I, I can google Webster. It everybody webster knows. wasn't no black man okay i'm gonna tell you that wow. webster I, definitely wasn't a black I man i never knew that though you just definitely taught me something i just say everybody please go and vote like please vote and, and but study shows that People who are voting early, whether they're voting for Trump or Biden, um, I hear that there are going to be a lot of people who are waiting to vote on election day. So those numbers may skyrocket for Trump or they might skyrocket for Biden. I feel like a lot of Trump supporters are waiting until the last minute to put their vote in. You know what, though? I was so proud. I went to vote. I, I had, I went to vote last week and, or, um, yes, two days ago, actually, I went to vote. And I was so proud at how many Black people were at the polls to Love vote. It. Like, when I went to vote the last time, nothing. Eight people, majority white people. I didn't see that many. And it was early in the morning. And I'm like, Everybody, it's so funny. This one lady was like, yes, I'm so happy you came out to vote. It's so good to see a young black person. Like, it's because it's not common. Most of these young black people think my vote ain't going to matter. He going to, Trump going to win again anyway. Or you know what I'm saying? But it's just like, we really out here voting and I'm proud of us. Like, I'm really yeah. proud. I don't know who everybody voting for, but let's yeah. hope that the outcome is what we want. But I'm just proud of us for getting out and voting. I, I think people goal. I, I think people thinking. goal is just to get Trump out of office at this point. Hey, they, I don't think course. people even really care. They just want him out of here. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. I think you know what I heard fun. though. A lot of people are writing Kanye in on the right end, and they say that still goes to Trump. If Who you said that, yeah. that's what they said. They said if you write in 
something else, that vote is technically going to not to us. I mean, well, I don't know. Because he's a Republican. It's a Republican party. They say it's going to Trump. Kanye said they said they kind of threw Kanye in as like the monkey wrench because some of us ignorant young black people don't know. And they be like, well, shoot, I don't like Biden or Trump. So I'm gonna just write Kanye in. Yeah. That's why it's so important, even on the air, like we are just stressing the importance of, you know, going out to vote. So everybody, right. please go and vote, please, yeah. please, 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 please. And if you don't know who to vote for, that's my opinion, just vote Democrat all the way down. Yeah. If you, you know, <laughs> just dim, 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 Democrat, Democrat, Democrat. Speaking yeah. of voting, y'all, who do y'all got with this T.I. and Jeezy versus battle? Ooh, that's so hard. <laughs> So hard. You know what? Jeezy got anthems. Yeah. You know I, mean? I think T.I. gonna take it only, this is why I say this, only because you gotta think about the songs that T.I. got with all these big artists. Like, T.I. got a song with Justin Timberlake, with Rihanna, with, and Jeezy is more like, you know, he got the Atlanta type yeah. of stuff, but he ain't really got the the caliber of music with the bigger artists so like T.I. has. Like, and that's more of a different audience than the hood people in Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? Or yeah. not just Atlanta, but just the trap people. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's a whole different audience T.I. has versus Jeezy. Yeah. So I, I'm going to say T.I. going to take it, but I still, I, I, it's hard to me for yeah. both of them. I like them both. Uh, like, say who you got. <laughs> I know that's the hardest part. <laughs> what do you got? All right, so I can't see it. Yeah, I just I love T.I. I just love him. So you got I, I can't say much because I he's married and stuff, and I respect oh, okay. him. Oh Lord, he girl. Just yeah. so okay. fine. He just so fine. Are we talking about? Oh, music God, music? God, God, God. But it's about music. All right, all right, my bad, my bad. Um, but Jeezy, y'all don't understand. I came to Atlanta in 07, mm-hmm. and it was Jeezy out. It yeah. was. It, yeah. was. it wasn't T.I. out. T.I. was on some, you know, he was a superstar, icon at this point. He running man, rubber, rubber band man, 24s, yeah. all that. Uh, and then he went and branched off and then went to jail right. and got all locked up. Jeezy. Been home, stayed down. Jeezy got some anthems. Uh, like I, I'm going to have to rock with Jeezy, man. I'm gonna like, Raven, Jeezy. Okay, Jeezy. He, he got some anthems. Right. Raven, who you got? I don't know, man. I still don't know. It's so, I ain't going to lie. I went on Spotify the other day. I was like, let me just flip through and see who got what. Just to, yeah. like, refresh my memory. And they both yes records like yes. i'm talking about jesus records that that make the whole hood stand up and represent you know yes. and then ti like you say he, he can cross over into a whole nother genre of music and that can play a big part too you know what i mean so it's just like it, it depends on what we like they battle song for song so mm-hmm. i'm just interested to see what songs are going to be up against up the song, song, right you know? but you gotta understand too jeezy did gangster grills a lot of gangster grills, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Um, Ti really hasn't did a lot of gangster grills. He has albums. Um, yeah, Ti have Ti have. Their have birthday is like the same day. Their birth Their birthday is like the same day or day after each other. Yeah, yeah they threw their parties like every weekend together. Like they had a birthday weekend every time they had their birthday. Yeah. I would it, and it was. Party. It, yeah, but it was just like ah. Oh, no, I, I think we all been. So- maybe they should just have a different. Like, okay, let's do best dress. Who would win that? And then it'll, no. it'll be T.I. best dress. Who, let's have yeah. the best all, beat. Who has the best all beat? I know, all I know is he played, <laughs> if he played last time, my chick, I was a family. <laughs> I'm like, oh, it's over with, baby. So <laughs> you know he's playing album. it. You know uh, he's playing it. So Jazzy. And he got shit with U- USDA. You got to understand, T.I. didn't branch off and do other groups. You got to understand, Jeezy came from Boys in the Hood. Mm-hmm. With Puff, That's what I'm saying it's gonna be tough. It's definitely gonna. And came tough. out who's the snowman and watch out for the snowman. Went through it with Gucci. Yeah. Prevailed in that. Still was able to. Yeah, you know I'm saying did the USDA. 
and then I Trapper think- dies. The Trapper it's die. It's co- the it's Trapper it's dies. It's oh man, yeah. my gosh. Jazz and Nikki got. Um, um, based on the hood, the trap, I, I got Jeezy, but internationally and more albums, I say T.I. But I feel like it's going to be a great, it's going to be a great battle November 19th. You know, I'm going to be, I'm going to be all up in that thing. Right. And so now that they're saying that they have the great Jeezy and T.I. battling, so now they want Gucci to enter into the versus battle. But Gucci said Gucci, Gucci man. No, so now, Gucci was like, he's never doing a versus battle unless they give him a million dollars. A million dollars. dollars. I know yeah, that's right, like Gucci. He ain't doing it. But if Gucci were to enter into the versus battle, who do you think can go against Gucci? I thought I would put Jeezy against Gucci. Hell no, they would never do anything together ever. I think I think Jeezy and Gucci is better than T.I. and Gucci. Because they're nah, I would do Gucci like, and Future. Ready. I'll do Gucci and Future. Gucci and Future, that might be good. That might be a good one. I would do a Gucci and Future because they have the same appeal as far as with the men and how Gucci is and how his character yeah. was and the yeah, streets right. and all that kind of stuff. He has that same appeal as Future do now, like, um, in current. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, But Future got Gucci, more hits. Future, right, Future got word, more hits. But Gucci was yeah. dropping. No, he Gucci was dropping shit with OJ, uh, Shorty Low, all that. <laughs> so a lot of this stuff, though, it be just local. Like a lot of people, when you go to New York and all these places and stuff, they don't know nothing about. Yeah, oh, the future we're doing it. Yeah, future like is definitely it, iconic. What is that? Yeah, so I don't know. I, I don't wouldn't say Rocco. Uh, you can't say Rocco to Gucci. No, uh, uh-uh. uh, no, no, no. They don't. No, I don't. I don't know who, but all I know is Gucci said he needs that Chisnick. A million dollars. So if you don't have a million dollars for Gucci Man, he will not be on the versus battle ever. So y'all just- let me know how it goes. I'm sure I'm gonna hear about it, but November the 19th is my husband's birthday, so I don't know if I'm gonna even be able, if we're gonna be able to watch it at all. So your book gonna be on Instagram. You gonna be on Instagram. Yeah, you gonna be I, on I Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> you right. All right. So. <laughs> All right, so now let's end this thing on a tip of the week. Shay, what you got? I would just like to say karma is real, you guys. So please, I have been in a situation this past summer that I've been dealing with off and on, just trying to get my life back in order. And when I say I don't have to do nothing, I let karma work for me. Mm. I am in silence. So if you ever feel like somebody is trying to battle you, talk mean to you, um, be disrespectful, as long as don't nobody put their hands on you, just keep your cool. Mm-hmm. Karma got you. You don't got to do nothing. You ain't got to flex. You ain't got to front. You ain't got to curse nobody out. You ain't got to wear out yourself at all. Karma is going to handle it. Have faith and trust and believe that it will be, your justice will be served. Okay? So don't do nothing. Don't come at nobody neck because they coming at you. Don't do nothing. Like, don't do nothing. What um, what was the quote that Jay-Z said? Um, if two people arguing, you don't know which one is who. It just sounds like two people arguing. You it ain't no right, no wrong. You don't want to be, you don't don't bring yourself down. To a level that is just not you. Let karma do it for you. Absolutely. I always say, hey, the best revenge is what? Living well. Okay. Yeah. And believe it. You got to believe it, y'all, because I am a true testimony of karma right now, and she is working it for me. And I ain't got to do no nothing. At all. I ain't got to do nothing but put my edges on. <laughs> I ain't got to do nothing but get my nails done. Okay. Right. <laughs> Baby girl. Right, so, so that is going to conclude for Women by Women for this week's episode. I have a lot of fun with you ladies. Yeah, I did too. That was fun. Yeah. That was. All right. Until then, we are signing out. Until next time, we'll see you next episode. Shout out Bye. to everybody for my glasses. Oh, uh, <laughs> <I'm on. laughs>